the Mozzie Villa, welcome to episode 125 of Razor Hulk, our bid for world domination with Aston Villa. And today we have two big games, because first of all we host Spurs in the league, then we're going to skip over the Blackburn game, who are bottom of the league, and then we're going to start our Champions League knockout campaign away to Sevilla in the first leg of the round of 16. Now before we get to that, let's have a quick look at how things have gone since last episode. We fell victim to Mbappe's pace and a good finish for the opening goal of this one. Rashid tucked away a loose ball early in the second half to draw us level. But a powerful effort from the edge of the area saw us leave Manchester empty-handed. This is a really, really disappointing game. We were completely outplayed, to be fair. You can see, I mean... What was really annoying is that we got ourselves back into the game. Rashid got a goal back just after half time, and then we you know we can see that again a silly goal, uh, you might say. It felt like a silly goal anyway, but we we can't complain. We were second best in this game. The match stats bear that out. Um, so yeah, there we go. So next up we went and we played Southampton. Marin got the only goal of this one, heading in a Kostic cross at the back post. Completely dominated this game, could not score to save ourselves, was pretty much the story. They did not register a shot on target. Marin got the goal. Um, yeah, should have been more comfortable, but I mean, the good thing is that we at least got back to dominating a game of football, which was nice. Uh, and then finally, we went away to Stoke. Marin once again opened the scoring, turning home after Stoke failed to clear a corner. And Marin turned provider in first half stoppage time, finding Enrique free in the penalty area to fire home. They got an early red card in this one, so that really helped us. At that point, we just got to control the game from there. Uh, Marin got a goal a couple of minutes after the red card. Enrique added the second just before half time, And you can see, we were comfortable. We dominated the game. Could we have scored more goals? Yes. Should we? Possibly. Um, but the main thing is that we did get uh, did get the three points. So if we look at all what that means for the league table, and you can see it's it's really, really close at the top of the league. Uh, between us and Manchester City in fourth, there is only three points. Spurs and, and United are there. They've dropped off a little bit lately, but if Spurs were to beat us today, go back to 52, you know, it keeps things tight again. But we do have a game in hand, which is possibly our saving grace uh, at this point in time. Um yeah, but it's going all, all okay. We have a quick look at what we're doing here against Tottenham. Uh, can I just go back? Where did I have the... There we go, the match preview screen. So we are the favourites for this one. Now, remember Spurs are a Jurgen Klopp coached team these days. Uh, so they're going to be attacking. They're going to be direct. Um, and we, I think we've both beaten them and been beaten by them quite comfortably while uh, Klopp's been in charge. This is what how we're expecting them to play. Positional heat map there. You can see they like to push up the field. They're quite spread out and opened at the back. Uh, passing network is there, as is their key passes. Now, this is the team that we're sending out, and we're just going to be a little bit more cautious, even though we are at home for this one. So it's going to be Gaz Mosley in goal, Nepo, Thor, Forster, and Kostic at the back four. Now, why is Thor playing? I hear you ask, because Rodrigo has picked up an injury. Um, he's out for about a month, which, in a way, it might be good because he's probably going to stay now for the transfer window. It's still opened, uh, but it does close very, very shortly. We haven't done anything, as you may have uh, may have uh, picked up. Um, so, yeah, so we don't have Rodrigo for the foreseeable future. So that's why Thor's in. We're going to play Tonelli in this one with uh, Leroy and Grealish in midfield. Silla is still not quite back from his injury. He's still about, what was that, about a week, week or two away. Uh, Rashid and Marin go down the wings. We're going to give uh, Enrique a game as a deep-lying forward in this one. Just... Dropping back in, he's, he's a really good link-up player, or in theory, he should be a really good link-up player. Um, so we're going to give him a chance here against Spurs. Give him a chance in that role. Obviously, he's had more than enough chance. Well, he's been a really good player for us. So, um, But that's sort of more playing in the number 10 role. Stig says pick up where we left off. Um, yeah, I mean, we've been okay. I, I almost wonder if... Um, just relax, boys. Just relax. Go out there. Let's even just keep it calm. Uh, go out there, play your game. And score some goals. We know that uh, you know we know that Spurs can rip us to pieces. They've done that before, so I mean they can rip anybody to pieces. So yeah, if we just relax, keep it, got to keep it tight at the back. It's a it is a loss to not have Rodrigo, but Thor's a very good player, so um, oof, potentially or not quite as good as Rodrigo, but potentially in that sort of same that same level. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, one thing I do want to keep... Oh, that's a horrible pass. That's a horrible pass. We put ourselves under pressure here, and I tell you what, we've done quite well there in the end. Now, can we actually make a, a little break here? Here goes Nepo. He loses out again, but Marin is there. Now, Marin has signed a four-year contract at the club. We're running into... We're just... We're not... This is just classic. We're not playing well. We're running into players, and we're 1-0 down. Um, do you give it a show some passion? I've noticed that it's... It's almost like it's just a giveaway when, when you, we're running into players 
and just doing that, that something's not right. Now, is that the team talk that I sent them out there with? It could well be. It's a good finish first time, isn't it? Um, but that, to me, that's a worrying sign. Here we go from the corner. Grealish knocks it in. Decent area, but headed away. There's nobody there. Leroy knocks it back down for Grealish. Bit of quality here. He's there. It's fallen for Leroy. Leroy for Marin. Someone's going to get a shot away here. Oh, good run by Nepo. Overlapping. Oh, it's got to be Rashid. What a well-worked goal that was. An instant reply, or more or less an instant reply. It's the 10th goal of the year for Rashid. And we worked that space absolutely brilliantly. That was a really, really good goal. Good passing. Look at this run from Nepo. That run from Nepo is absolutely world-class. That's why he's in the FIFA team of the year. And Rashid just applied the finish at the back post as well. Really, really good goal. Um, not necessarily stunning to you know, you know to look at, uh, not a, a free flowing move, but just the way we work that. So, oh, what a goal from Antonio Marin! Ninth goal of the year for him, and how has he scored from there? Just absolute quality from the quality player. The man's more celebrates his new four year contract with a little bit of wizardry. How has he done that? That is absolutely incredible. 2 1. We've turned it around, and here we go again. Here we go again. It's Grealish. It's Heather away. Are we going to go and concede a goal? It's hacked clear. We don't have a player. Well, we have a player up there, but we haven't won the ball. Just kick. Oh, Nepo. 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 Gaz saves us. We just had to hold him up there. That wasn't the best defensive play, if I'm honest. Corner comes in. Oh, it's off the crossbar. And this is over the bar, is it? Yes. This is a very, very open game of football. It definitely will be featuring a match. I've noticed BBC's gotten in on the, on the hoarding advertising recently. I get a lot of... Uh, BBC Sport and, and um, well, just Match of the Day and things that we've just seen there. So, yeah, it's obviously BBC's decided with the new football season underway. Football Manager is a good place to uh, to advertise themselves. Here we go. Gaz Mosley launches one. Can we win that with Marin? He gets it on. Nice little flick on again for the overlapping Nepo. Can he get across in? It's there again for Rashid. Oh, it's a decent effort. But the keeper keeps it on this occasion. And what a game this is. It's a really, really, we have had a couple of really good ones against Spurs, haven't we? Here we go again with the corner. Oh, that is a good header. And it looked destined for the back of the net. But it's just drifted wide and possibly over as well. Um, let's give it a concentrate here when we can. Here we go again with Grealish. Another cat hair in my nose. Oh, it's a decent ball again from Jack. Here he goes again. Second chance. That's not the best, but it has found Forster back for Leroy. Leroy can shoot. Oh, and that's just over as well. It is a thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining game, this one, isn't it? We've got a nervous-looking Pedro Enrique, which isn't ideal. Um, we'll see if showing a bit of passion gets him back on side. That should be easy enough. Time for Nepo to bring it down. In for Leroy. What's he going to do for Marin? I'm wondering, I mean, I love Nepo overlapping, but I'm wondering if that's not necessarily what we need right now against a good Spurs team. Here we go with Leroy. That's a good ball there for Kosic. Oh, it's a good ball for Marin, and it's just over the bar. We look really, really good going. You know what we might do? We don't have it on Express. I kind of, I feel like there's, a, there's more goals in this for us, but equally, against Spurs, there is a bit of a risk of, of giving the ball away and, and having our fullbacks too high up the pitch. We might, for the second half, just look to drop them. I don't understand why we're looking nervous here, boys. We've done really, really well. Um, we do have Lab on the bench. If Enrique isn't going to do too much for us. Now, what do we say to that? Um, do I say... What do I say to that? It's got to be a don't get complacent, doesn't it? Maybe a calm, a calm don't get complacent. As opposed to a sort of, you know, an assertive don't get complacent. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Uh, we'll just tell Tonelli to watch his step. I'm wondering on a booking if that's maybe something we want to do. Uh, we do have AR on the bench who we could bring on. Um, let's just tell some of these people that aren't doing well. I thought Grealish has done okay, but he might be giving the ball away a little bit. Um, neither of the boys in center midfield are having their best games. We won't tell nervous players they're rubbish. I, I, I think I'm going to bottle this just ever so slightly. We are just going to sit the fullbacks back a little bit. Uh, I love their work getting forward, but I just am very, very conscious of the fact that Spurs are a good team. They have pace out wide, and we just don't want to get ourselves caught with our fullbacks up the pitch. Here we go again, Antonio Marin. We know he can score from anywhere. It looks like he hasn't gone for goal this time. It's there for Marin again, and it's just passed. 
you do just get maybe the slight fear that these missed chances might come back and haunt us. Go on, Leroy, for Grealish. Grealish, a good ball there for Nepo. Still getting forward. That's okay. Marin, Nepo, just maybe drop off a bit, mate. Just drop off a bit. Here we go with Leroy. Leroy! Oh, he's blasted it over. We do have work the ball into the box on, don't we? It's we've. I don't understand what's wrong with our finishing here. Come on, Leroy. For Grealish should get... Oh, it's heavy touch from Jack. Appeals for a free kick, but I don't think there was too much wrong with that, to be honest. Here we go. Come on, boys. That is... Oh, a bit of a loose pass. This is scrappy. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There's the BBC Sport signage again. Back post away by Nepo. It's still there. Oh, and they've put it past the post as well. Not, not a classic for shooting, uh, is it? Let's give it a demand more... Um, I'm looking at Tenali there. He's not playing particularly well, and he's on a booking. I'm just wondering if we bring AR on for him. Here go Spurs again. He's just run past about four of our players. I've just stood there and looked at him. It's like they're eating popcorn. Here goes Sun Min. We know he's decent. Oh, Forster with an important header there. And Tenali's done well to keep possession. And can we go up the other end here? Go on, Leroy. Go on, Leroy. What's he got for us? Info Enrique dropping in. That's what we want him to do for Marin. I am, I'm looking at this a little bit, wondering if we actually maybe want a striker just to just stay up top a little bit. But Enrique's done really well there. He's made this chance for us. And again, we can't find the back of the net at the end of it. It was a decent effort from Rashid. But that 2-1, to one, I just, again, I fear that we're going to get caught out at the end by a sucker punch here. We need to make these chances count. Good header again by Thor. And again, it doesn't find the back of the net. Um... All right, we're going to call this. We have an, an apprehensive striker who isn't really any good to anybody. So let's bring Lab on, who's been in good form. Um, and I'm thinking AR for Tenali as well. He's not, as I said, he's not having his best game. He's also on a booking. I just think that might be a sensible thing to do. Let's give it a demand more again. It's starting to get to the point of the game now where we start and close it down, I think. Um, all right, so let's be more disciplined now. Just start and wind it, wind it back a little bit. Um, let's maybe take it off, exploit the flanks as well. We'll slow it down. We'll give them... Let's just encourage, perhaps. I don't know if encourage is the right thing to say. Maybe it should have been tightened up. Let's go back to defensive. Let's see if we can see this out. This should be it. This should be it. Head that clear. Kosic is there. Can we blow it up, please, referee? There we can. Well... It should have been a lot more comfortable. We've really, really dominated that game. Poor finishing. Didn't cost us in the end. Um, but that is that is a really... I'm going to be I say a passionate well done, boys. That was a really, really good win. It was a really good win against a, a good Tottenham team. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Antonio Marin just continues to just be one of the best signings I've ever made in Football Manager. That free kick goal, just worthy of winning any game, wasn't it? Anyway, guys, wait right there. I'll end the transfer window. We'll play Blackburn, and then we'll be back to resume our Champions League campaign. Transfer window closes in five, four. Hello? Hey, Rodrigo. How you doing, mate? Good, mate. Good. How can I help you here? You are happy to stay now? Oh, that's excellent news, mate. Really happy to hear that. <laughs> hey, mate, though, I had my head turned by the transfer fee. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, yeah, hey, mate, I almost did sell you. I almost did. Mate, water under the bridge, not a problem. We move on now like nothing happened. Sounds good, mate. Sounds good. See you at training. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, as you just heard, Rodrigo is happy to stay at the club now. The transfer window's closed, uh, and he was basically just said he's happy to stay because Paris isn't interested in it anymore, so that is really, really good news for us. Now, before we get to Sevilla here, and you can see we are the favourites for this first leg, let's have a look what happened against Blackburn at home in the league. We fell behind early in this one, conceding from a corner. But our problems, it were clear, as first Roberts, then Roberts again, then Almeida, then Rodrigo, all failed to take good chances before finally the ball went home. So there we go, a really, really disappointing result. There's really disappointing performance. You can see we should have won the game. Uh, we just, I mean, well, maybe we shouldn't have. It was actually a lot more even than it should have been. But a lot of the highlights were ours. We just couldn't score. We rested a lot of players for this one ahead of the Sevilla game, which maybe in hindsight was a mistake. But Beck played well, uh, which was good. He took his opportunity. Turpy didn't do too bad. But Almeida, uh, Nick Roberts was average. Brian Carlos just continues to disappoint, to be honest. I don't know what to do with him. Um, we've registered him back in the Champions League squad. So I was hoping 
that we would see an improvement from him from there, but it hasn't really happened. Uh, if we look at what that means for the league table, we do have a little bit of wiggle room. We still have a game in hand. We're two points clear of Liverpool uh, and, and Everton and the rest are there, as you can see. So just a bit disappointing all round, to be honest. Now, getting back to Sevilla, let's uh, look to rebounds here. We don't have too much information on them. We can see Miguel Herrera is the manager. They're attacking a standard mentality, but as far as the analysis report goes, there is nothing. There is no analysis report. So... A little bit blind coming into this one, but it's all about away goals as away legs in Europe tend to be. So the team for this one, it is Gaz Mosley in goal. It's Nepo, Thor, Forster, and Kosic as the back four. It's Leroy and Grealish in midfield. It is Rashid, it's Enrique, and it's Marin. It's Chris Hughes up top. It's the strongest team we pretty much have right now. Silla is kind of back fit on the bench. Not, he's not fit to start. We might see him in the second half. Very, very defensive looking Sevilla, isn't it? Wow, did not expect that for a home leg. They are obviously just trying to get out of this with their dignity. Um, Stig says, go out there and challenge them to prove a point. All right, come on, lads, show me what you can do here. We need to, I mean, we almost need to redo the damage we did in that, um, in that Blackburn game, to be honest. You will have noticed that the uh, morale has improved a lot. Um, we did, I did uh, like a, a team bonding um, session to try and improve that since last episode. Um, I've gone through and sort of praised all their conduct, trying to lift it as well. And I think just generally, uh, a couple of good wins. Obviously, Blackburn's going to hurt that a little bit. But I think uh, Rodrigo being happy again is going to improve it. I think we're just a little bit more of a happier team now, which is good. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't like Rodrigo. Uh, what's his name? Leroy just running into an opposition player there. That's not great. Nepo's there, though, to head that clear. Um What are we? Eight, nine minutes in here. Can we get that away, please? Oh, well claimed by Gaz. That was stunning. Confident, which I like. Highlight's going to continue. We're stuffing around with it a little bit too much here at the back for my personal liking. There we go. Thor out for Nepo. In for Leroy. Can we build from this for Grealish? What's Jack? Oh, Jack Grealish. Come on. Come on. This is becoming a long, scrappy highlight, and I do not like where this is headed. I don't like where this is headed. We've got another block in. Come on, boys. Win this ball back. Instantly, I'm thinking, do we need to close the lines? Oh, guys, there's... I'm not, it's like a grass cutter, a daisy cutter, whatever it's called. And it's just about kept being kept out there by Gaz. But this is not the best start we've seen from us. We'll give it a get creative. Um, we'll give it a little bit of time here. Maybe we've just got off to a bit of a slow start. But I wonder if we need to close up the lines a little bit. Not having any information really about how they're going to play is not is not the most helpful thing in the world. Here we go with a the corner. There's Grealish out there for Rashid. Rashid walks it in and walks it in. There's the away goal as well. 11th goal of the year for Rashid. Another assist for Super Jack. And we are 1-0 up with the away goal. And that is much more like it, boys. Um, we do score quite a few goals. Don't we like this. Out to the edge of the area. Rashid walks it in. And it's a good finish. It's a really good finish, actually. Through a crowded box. And that is 1-0. Now we need to concentrate from our own defensive corner. They've seen that. They've liked what they see. Can we... Oh, then they can do it. Whatever we can do, they can do as well. And that's really disappointing. Barely had any time there between goals. And they've basically done to us what we did to them. And that's really, really frustrating. Uh, we don't need to see it again. We've seen it twice. And look at that. Straight away. That Nothing annoys me more in this game than when that happens. Um, we've not played well. We've not played well. Let's, let's put exploit the flanks on. Uh, I think I'm going to launch into them at halftime. The halftime in the Blackburn game, I tried to encourage them because uh, it was a very similar sort of outlook. And we've done work on converting chances, which is a little bit annoying that we're not, it's not sort of showing. Um, but yeah, and I was trying to be, I tried to be like, you know, come on guys, you can do this. Uh, and it didn't work second half because we were just as bad. So we'll, we, we'll learn from that mistake. I mean, this is sort of a different team, more the first team as well. Chris Hughes is not having a good day. I do wonder if a little bit of that is just lack of chances. We haven't really seen too much from any of us, have we? Just that really one highlight. There we go. It's headed away. Grealish is back there for Enrique. He turns, he swivels, and he can't quite find the back of the net. I mean, 1-1 one, one isn't a horrible score for us. It's an away goal, but highlight continues here. We're not going to do this, are we? We're not going to do this. Oh. Gaz again has saved us, and we're not looking convincing here. Um... We'll show some passion when we can. Another corner, Grealish, into the mixer this time. It's headed away. Rashid's there. Rashid again. Oh, <laughs> Rashid! 12th goal of the year, and he's having a really, really good day from corners, isn't he? 
Excellent stuff. Really, really good finish. A little bit of luck there, perhaps, that the defensive header just fell to him. But the first touch to go past it, there was a man on him. Look at this. That first touch was really good. And again, goalkeeper screens. He didn't really have a chance there, did he? Rashid's just had to find a target, and that's exactly what he's done. And we come straight back. If we can see it again, I don't know if I'll survive. Let's demand more. Come on, boys. From another corner. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, Gaz is there. Well claimed by Gaz. Um, since the, actually, since the, the first game, the Tottenham game, Gazza said that he trusts me again. There was sort of like a lingering, like a slight concern there. So any sort of problems there have been resolved between myself and Gaz. So that's good. Uh, he was ha already happy to stay, but that's just that sort of the slight concern. It's a bit of a lungy tackle there, but Forster did a decent enough job. Chris Hughes picks that up. It's a loose pass. You can see what he was trying to do to Enrique, but it, was, it wasn't good enough. And we're looking a little bit sloppy here. Uh, I mean, at least it's the away leg to be looking sloppy, but, oh, it's a good finish. And again, we've let them back in the game, not that long after we've scored. It has to be a concentrate, and there's just a few concerns there. Uh, on the back of the Blackburn game, there's just a few concerns that we're not, we're not quite at our best here. Decent effort. Could Gaz have maybe done a little bit better there? Uh, we're going to make some changes. It's not Marin's day, so we're going to take him off for Rodrigo. We're going to take off Chris Hughes for Brian Carlos, which is... That might be a mistake, but we'll see how we go. Um, and the other person's not playing well there is Kosic at right back. Let's give him a get creative here, and... We might look to change something. They're not really going over our heads, so let's maybe try that. Let's maybe try a counter press. And... We'll keep it on work, the ball into the box. Let's maybe raise the tempo a little bit as well. It's been an even game. So, I mean, two away goals is maybe, you know, it's, it's a good... If you're going to have a goal fest, you want to do it in the away leg, don't you? So, we're going to have to do some work on defensive training, though, I think. Because we haven't looked... We've looked a little bit dodgy. Um, are we going to go and concede another goal here? Should we have been a little bit more conservative in midfield? There's a decent pass. We've just about got away with that. I'm not sure what Leroy's doing clearing the ball there. It's almost the worst place he could have got that. But we've got picked up a loose ball here with 10 minutes to go. Can we go and get a third? Leroy spreads the play. Nicely done for Rodrigo. Cuts in field. There's another good ball for Rashid on a hat trick. Rashid gets the hat trick. Oh, he has been the rescuer of Villa today. 13th goal of the year. A really good counter-attacking move there. And we've got a 3-2 lead. Now, can we please hold on to it this time, boys? We'll give it a tighten up. Good work from Rodrigo, wasn't it? Just cut in field. Saw the run from uh, Rashid and he's... For the third time this game, really, really solid finish from our uh, Moroccan winger there. Excellent stuff. Um, Carlos is looking nervous. Of course he is. Um, do we want to? If we can see from another corner, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Gaz is there. Well done, mate. Well done. Gaz has actually had quite a good day. That's a good ball out there too for Rodrigo. Nice early ball. Can we? Oh, he's got himself. Oh, almost a stunning effort from Rodrigo. I do wonder if he could have taken it down to the byline and looked to pull it back. Uh, we did have men getting forward. This is a proper highlight. There's still about three minutes to go in stoppage time here. Rashid, can he turn provider? Look at the back post. Look at the back post. Look at the back post. Oh, we've hit the back post is what we've done. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. This should be it, though. We've come away from home. It hasn't been a classic performance from us, but we have scored three goals, and it's looking like we have won the game. All right, there we go. There we go. We'll take it. Definitely the game where Rashid has saved us there. Uh, we're going to have to guard against complacency, I think. So there we go. Not a classic performance, but it was good enough in the end. And it was good enough thanks to this man. Well done, Rashid. Excellent stuff from him. But there we go, guys. That is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, ring the bell if you know when I want to know when I upload new episodes. At least you, you got spared the Blackburn disaster for this one. So we'll be back next time. I think what we'll do is we'll come back for Leicester at home in the league. And then we'll do Sevilla, the second leg against Sevilla at home as well. We're in a decent position. I'd like to think we could see it out. But we'll find out for sure on Saturday, guys. Until then, open Aussie Bell. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.